Drew Holiday's wife is uh, is upset with the NBA for dropping Drew Holiday without any type of warning. They had to move their kids, and and she feels like they were they were slighted. How do you feel about that? I think it would be incredibly difficult. I think the oh. the part of this that people forget about. Um, we don't have, and she sent, she put out a long IG yeah. post. Um, we don't have to, people can go find it. She, the, the, we don't have to put it up right now. Uh, you gave a good synopsis of it. Um, I think the thing that people do forget about is the kids changing schools. Right. Um, and I think that is a, a brutal spot. I, that I have real empathy for. I, so I went to, remember how I said I went to curriculum night the other night for uh, Deanna's school? Oh, one yeah, of yeah. her classmates, I don't want to say the name, but one of her classmates, their, her dad, or his dad, her, her classmate's father, uh, played in the NBA for uh, 15 years, okay? And just retired a few years ago. He played in the same place. For eight seasons. And then from 2012 till 2019, he played one, two, three, four, five, six. Played for six teams in eight years. Okay? Um, And the process of having to pick up and move your kids and the kids having to make new friends and start new schools, all of that... I imagine is incredibly difficult. And if you ever go to like a NFL coaches Wikipedia page. So let me try to think of like a good example of it. Uh, so let me, the, if you go to, I'll do Wink Martindale, who is the defensive coordinator. Wait, Wink Martindale. Oh wait, that's the, hold on. Don Martindale. Sorry. Wink Martindale was a here. So, uh, was a television host. So some of these guys, their careers. So like Wink Martindale, here's what he did um, from 94 till 2012. So mm-hmm. that is, what is that, 18 years? He went Notre Dame, Cincinnati, Western Illinois, Western Kentucky, Oakland Raiders, Denver Broncos, Baltimore Ravens. And that, to be honest, is like par for the course. So I do have a lot of empathy for what that means on people and their families. I also think it's part of the deal. And it just is what it is. There is, There are pluses and minuses to every job in the world. And some have bigger pluses, bigger minuses, and across the spectrum. If you are a professional athlete, one of the trade-offs is your entire life can be upended and you can be forced to move to a place you've potentially never lived in the blink of an eye. We can have empathy for that without having a lot of sympathy for it. I can feel for you while not feeling badly about it. It's just the deal. And I think Lauren Holiday, uh, you know, I think was upset that Drew didn't get a lot of notice. Well, that's a tough one. Because you, as you mentioned, Demonze, let's say they knew this was a possibility and they give him a heads up about it. And then all of a sudden the Blazers end up taking the offer from Miami. Then what happens? They've told Drew, we might trade you. We want to let you know, get your family in order. And then they don't trade him. What happens then? Drew, I mean, <clears throat> Drew, uh, yeah, it's, it's a slippery slope. I also don't see Drew Holiday as the like, type of guy to keep that in his back pocket and like, play differently. I, or, well, like for- I, don't, I, I, I tend to agree with you, but it damages the relationship. Yeah. Even if he's going to play just as hard, it damages the relationship. It's like, wait, yeah. you were thinking of moving on from me. Does that mean Giannis didn't want me or was it, you know, there's right. pro- the, the there are real potential problems. 
And I just, you know, I think that there are there are a lot of things that just is the cost of doing business. And being a pro athlete, one of them is you're not necessarily going to have control over where you live and who you work for. Unless it you're sucks. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, to be honest, yes. Or Kevin Durant, the Bradley best Beal. of the best. Well, well, Bradley Beal, to his credit, <laughs> got a no trade clause. You know what I mean? Like, and Dame's better than Bradley Beal, but didn't have a no trade. Like the there, there's a cost to this stuff, and so I, I understood what she was saying, but I, I just think that that's kind of the deal. The there are my, my buddy Laszlo, finals, who dude. I quote, won them a finals. Won them a finals. Are they better with Dame? We will see. But, yeah, I mean, on okay, paper, I, on paper, when, on when, pa when, we, when we map it out in our heads and think about yeah, what exactly this player right. would look like next to this player, yes. Yes, okay. on paper they are. And you know what? The GM of the Bucks, you know what he doesn't want to have to do? Change his kid's school. Move. <laughs> because he got fired. Because the championship was as high as they got. And then Giannis left. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.